going on YouTube, I have three games that just got shipped to me that they stay are not working. So I'm gonna tear into them and uh, let's give them a test. Nobody uses CDs anymore. I'm back on my Omni mic because my other microphone is dead. So I apologize if you hear my breathing or anything like that. I'll try and edit it out, but um, it's a very sensitive mic and uh, it will record anything. Game Boy Advance games. And a Game Boy game. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Okay. We're not seeing the Nintendo logo. So obviously it's not going to load the game. It won't think it's authenticated or uh, legit because that is how it authenticates. Uh, so we'll need to take a look at that one. Next one. None at all. Yep, just gonna sit there. No Nintendo logo at all. Okay. All right. Last but not least. Oh yeah, no logo. Let's see what we can do. I'll start with this guy. I'll consider this one game number one. The other two, game number two, game number three. Oh, and if you haven't seen a tour of my desk, there you go. Lots of tools. A lot of good tools. Anyway, let's get back to work. First things first, this is a tri-wing screw in the back, so we'll take that out. Oh, that is not a tri-wing screwdriver. That's better. You can see here, Screw isn't too bad. Interesting. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's zoom in on the chip. Let me get this out. Ooh, it's sticking. Whoa! There's one stuck chip. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that right there. That's gonna come right off. I don't wanna soak it yet, but let's see if it helps. I'm just gonna put light pressure. Oh, not that. Oh, okay, that is stuck. Did they glue this or something? I really, really am. All right. Hey. Oh, yo. Oh, boy. Let's zoom in on this mess. Okay, as you can see on the back of this chip, I mean, something got spilled back here, and it's affecting all, probably all these traces. And something back here, I mean, this was stuck. And if you see in the case, I mean, it's, it's eaten on the case. Yeah, that's uh, pretty gross. Let's see if I can get uh, get the light in here better for you. Focus. There we go. Yeah, if you could just see. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah. Right, that is just gross. I don't know what that is. I'm not only gonna ask chip again I mean you can definitely see where this spill right there that's good you can definitely see where the spill has just I don't know if it's eaten away these traces I don't know what but it's been there for a while this thing got wet so yeah here's the case Oof, it's just nasty it looks like it'll scrape off. But, okay, let's clean this. Okay. Again, 99% isopropyl alcohol. Go to town. Let's 
looks like it's having some effect. Ooh, yucky, yucky. I'm gonna put this. I'm just gonna kind of soak. I'm gonna put this to the side. What I want to do is kind of soak it. Let it just sit for a bit. I don't want to use anything more aggressive yet until I know that that's not working. Meantime, rub it in this puddle. Let's see if I have a concentrated place. Uh, let's see if I can concentrate on a specific place and see if that cleans up. It's having some effect here. Oh yeah, it's coming off. Just have to work hard at it, but we'll get this thing clean. It looks like it got burnt or something. I don't know. Oh. I want to go down these traces here. Whew. All right, let's take a look at the front. You can see with the light, all right, there's uh, the right angle here. You can see here, let me get it right here. See if I can, oh, that's too bright. Angle, you can see here that the cartridge has had some use. Um, let me get a new Q-tip here. And some isopropyl alcohol, clean it up here. You can see there's been some use. Um, we're gonna clean this and clean these up. We'll have to run some tests on this damage here. And then this guy, I don't think that's anything. Okay. Well, I'm gonna dry this off and I'm going to test uh, the traces from here to here to see if they're making contact at all and uh, see what we can do. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, I didn't see anything wrong with any traces on the front. Not sure about all of them in the back, but these are good. Um, let's just test it and see if what we did cleaning the board uh, helped any at all. All right, it's back together. Let's give it a shot. Okay. No logo. Ain't gonna do shit. So let's. Uh, Let's go to plan B here. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna flip on the old iron here. Send some solder. And yes, you can see flux getting on the back of the board. We'll do a full cleaning. Okay. All right, let's just do a drive-by. Let's see what that does. Just 
double check my work. No bridging. No bridging. Awesome. Case is still dirty. We'll fix that. Main concern right now is the board. Oop, come on. There we go. Alright, time for the smoke test. Alright! There we go. Game number one. Fixed. Kill him! I think this is the guy. I beat the game! Okay. Oh, no. Select does nothing. Oh, what's this? I don't know. Oh, stab him in the butthole. Come on, jump again. Do it. Oh. Yeah! Sticked him in the butt. Yes! Alright, I got my butt shot. Game number one. Let's move on. All right, game number two. Mm. Still got... Uh, okay. Nothing. Aww. All right, same issue. Let's go open her up. Again, try with the screw. What glory are we about to see? Let's look at the uh, screw here. Oh, manual focus. There we go. Okay. I don't see any corrosion. Ooh, okay. Oh, interesting. Well, right off the bat, um, let's see if I can pull it out. Okay, it looks mostly clean, but right off the bat, I see an issue that we are going to have to fix, so let's zoom in. Okay, right off the bat, you see damage right here. Um... I don't know if this is, I don't know if I can scrape it, but that is going to be very problematic if that does not make a connection, because, let's just clean it, this might just be something I can scrape off, okay, one sec. Let's just try it out. Alright. Smoke test. Nope. We got something else going on. Okay. Let's get back into it. Okay, I gotta zoom in because I did potentially find a really tiny issue, so bear with me. Okay. This is a very, very close zoom, so even like breathing on this um on this camera is gonna like shake it, so I apologize in advance. But if you look right there, there's a potential break in this trace. So I need to test it. In fact, what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do a test on all of these. So uh, bear with me. Okay, I was wrong about the, uh, I was wrong about that being a potential break in the trace. Everything is good to go. I'm just going to do what I did before. Um, I'm going to, uh, just re uh, reflow the solder on this board. The last couple episodes you've seen, it's, uh, that's been the root cause of the issue. Looking a lot better now that I got a new tip. Thank the Lord. Little bit of solder. 
There we go. I'm right with that. It's a little bit. There's a little bit much on that one, but that's okay. Side two. Oops. God, I keep bumping the damn camera. Okay. Excellent. Looking good. Clean it, give it another shot. You know, once you start to take some boards over and over again, you kind of get experience with the typical causes, and it makes things easier, quicker, and quicker, and quicker. There's that side. And that side. All right, let's try it off and give it a try. Still nothing. Just a test game number one. That one's still working. Alright, I think it's time for the f it vinegar and uh, isopropyl alcohol bath. I don't know if you all like vinegar or not. Most people think this stinks and it's terrible. I, in a way, yeah, it does, but it kind of smells good in a way too. I don't know. Call me a weirdo in the comments if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna let this vinegar do its job just for a little bit. I'm not even gonna walk away from it. I'm keeping my eye on this thing because I don't wanna spend, I don't want spending more than about two minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a look at game number three. We already know this one doesn't work. And I need the game bit screw. Come out, you little devil. I can't blame it. Probably hasn't been opened in 15 plus years. Son of a bitch. Wow. I don't want to be hard on this game. Okay, this little son of a bitch is coming out. But before we continue, back to the board. All right, get it out of a, out of a whim. I'm gonna kind of do this. I'm gonna splash it with isopropyl alcohol. I've seen in previous episodes, if I hadn't let it dry yet, it kind of completes a connection, and I want to see if it does work. Just kind of let it soak a little bit. You don't want too much, but just enough. Aha, okay. So we do have a non-completed connection somewhere. This is not going to last forever. I think I still need to refill the solder on that board. It's working though. You kids play weird games. Oh, that's boring. All right, whatever. Kids play some weird games these days. Okay, vinegar bath um, and just soaking it. I, I'm not convinced. I want to. Uh, I want to see if the changes are uh, permanent and if this stays a working game or if it is just the isopropyl alcohol. Uh, I'm gonna come back to this. The board's dry, and let's move on to game three. Finally. See what the situation is like here. Yep, that is cracked. Look at the game. Finally. All right, so let's zoom in. Got the chip here. I mean, on the get-go, I don't see anything. 
Okay guys, before I can test these capacitors, I have to get the values of them. The value is determined by looking at the bands on the outside from left to right. This board is facing right, so it's going to be bottom to top. And you have to calculate the amount of picofarads for this capacitor. Let's do the first band. The first band is brown. Brown is a 1. The second band is black. That's a 0. The third band is orange. That's a 3. The fourth band is blue. That's a 5. The last band, brown, is a 1. So there's my code. 10351. What do we do with this? Well, I'll show you. To get the amount of uh, picofarads, you just take the first digit. The second one is, well, the second digit. The third one, you multiply that by 10 to the exponent, 10 to the third power. The rest is the tolerance. So it'll be plus or minus 5%. Maximum voltage is one. In the end, without going into too much detail and conversions and stuff, and for speed of this video, I'll just uh, tell you what I calculated. This is 10 nanofarads. All right, I'm pretty sure my soldering iron is too hot because I killed that trace is gone. So probably that one too. F it. If anything, I probably just made this game worse. Yeah. If anything, this game is worse. Uh, let me do some soldering braid. Get some extra, extra solder off this thing. <clears throat> you know what? F it. Let's get the air gun out. Kind of get the board nice and warm. You don't want to shock it. Yep, starting to melt the solder. Let's see if I can get this this way. Sure. It should just come right off. Ah, uh, tweezers aren't wide enough. Oh, f this quad hands. There we go. Came right off. All right, as you can see, learning a kind of a painful lesson here. I did a terrible, terrible job with this reflow of the solder. Iron, way too hot, and I kept it in one place, and look what I did. Burnt the board, this trace is crooked, and these traces are just ready to go. Oh boy, so I'm gonna have a fun time fixing this. So how am I gonna do this? What am I gonna do? To rectify my stupidity, let's find out in part two of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great evening. It's evening here. And stay tuned for part two where I, well, fix my fuck up. <laughs>